Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at an all shadow team in the Ultra League Open here So we're going to be switching it up. We got four different shadows. We're going to be taking a look at here Yeah, I know this team is dirty <laughs> Completely I'm sick and tired of the brokenness of this game. So I'm just gonna go full Shady <laughs> So we got the needle queen shadow needle queen shadow Gramble shadow Lapras and shadow Machamp now the shadow Machamp is going to have payback why? I just wanted coverage for ghosts, psychic types, who knows? I'm just going to have that there. Rock Slide's probably going to be the move you want to use, of course, if you do run him a champ. Just a little heads up, but with that said, I really don't got much more to say. Let's go ahead and hop into this up against the greed in here. Letting the Body Slam go, and we're going to farm down so we can hit the next Pokemon with the Poison Fang. Lower that defense and just soften him up for the next Pokemon here. So we're just going to throw that immediately. I'm not going to go Earth Power. It's going to be more beneficial going for that right now. And we're getting to another one because of the slow registration of the quick move incinerate on the Talon Flame. Let's go. And we're even able to retreat the Nido Queen. <laughs> you kidding? Let's get it. Uh, bring it into the Gramble here to charm it down. Not very effective, but since we did lower the defense, it's doing more. And they got an Obstagoon in the back. It's not looking good for them. We're going to go for the crunch here. We're not going to try to lower our stats. Just get that shield right away. Looking good. We don't have any shields ourselves. Night Slash still, you know, it's doing okay. And they're back out. We take the win. Let's go. Now, if you do enjoy my videos, make sure you hit that like button. It really does help me out quite a bit into the next battle. Leading with that Gramble. Met with a Purified Swampert. They're going to be bringing in a Melmetal immediately, and we're going to go ahead and swap right into that Machamp. We're looking pretty good. We're going to let this go through no problem. If this is a superpower, we don't care. They're going to lower their stats, and we're going to take them out that much more faster. And if they go Rock Slide, well, you see what happens there. So we're not shielding up. In comes the Swampert, and I do believe we do use a shield because I want to put on pressure. Just make them use that energy, and then we'll just, you know, figure it out after that. So we're using that shield, like we said. Don't even think we're going to get to the Cross Chop. Yeah, that's fine. All right. We're just having them throw that energy here. Now, they do have a little bit more built up, so we do need to keep that in mind. Going to go ahead and bring in the Gramble. They're immediately swapping into a Muck. We're going to go ahead and bring in our Nido Queen. It's a one-to-one -one shield situation here. So, we're going to go ahead and let this go. Dark Pulse is going to do some damage, but it's not really threatening. Plus, the not very effective Poison Jab. We don't have to worry about this. Going to go right for the Earth Power, taking that Muck the heck out of here. In comes Swampert. Not very effective with the poison, but it is going to start adding up. And we have the Gramble in the back ready to go with the charm. And I mean, it's got a ton of health left and we've got one shield. It is over here. We're going to let this go. No problem. And they got another one. We simply shield it. I mean, could have let it go, but kid, next thing you know, I know it's a, it's going to be a sludge wave and we lose the battle because we wanted to flex with that one shield. Yeah, that's okay. Next battle, we're going to be seeing a Pidgeot here. Now, this is pretty interesting. This is, I mean, Shadow Gramble, this thing is disgusting, I know. Like I said, I'm sick and tired of the brokenness. Missing all these quick moves, it's ridiculous. So they're going to be swapping, maybe trying to catch. Uh, crunch, not very effective with their Gramble. That would have been pretty nice, but we're going to be holding ourselves back, bringing in the Needle Queen to farm down, letting this Feather Dance go through because we don't need to use that shield. As a matter of fact, we're going to get to another Poison Fang here, putting on the pressure. So it's going to be all a matter of what's in the back, getting rid of the Flyer, so Machamp should be in the clear. Yep, we got a Galarian Stunfisk back there, and we're going to go ahead and Poison Fang this thing, I do believe, twice. So that's one, and we got two here. We're looking good as soon as they see the Machamp. I mean, I mean, come on. And you give them a few seconds to realize. They're like, yep, okay. Back out. We take the win. Next battle. All right, this is an example as to rock, paper, scissors. No, you can't win every single battle. So anybody who gives you that crap nonsense, it's not happening. All right, this guy knows it too. He backs out. <laughs> Nothing against him. I'm just making a point. Next battle, we're met with a Gyarados. Show me a Dragon Breath. It's a waterfall. That's fine. We're still doing an enormous amount of damage compared to their waterfalls. I mean, they're still doing a lot of damage as well, but... I'm going to go ahead and shield this up. So we've used the shield. They're coming in here with Swampert. I decide to go ahead and just go for the crunch here. I think we even stay for for a while. I don't know. Bring it in Machamp. Yeah, considering that they do have a flyer, eh, maybe it's going to be best to bring in Machamp. Now, we're going to let this go through. It's not Shadow. We don't have to worry about the uh, Hydro Cannon taking us out. Even if it was at that range, we still would have been okay. But with the quick move accumulation, got a little something to worry about. We are shielding that up. All right, and now we're going to let them take us out because we wanted to get all those shields and stuff, and we're good to go. We're going to go ahead and bring in Gramble and taking them out. Well, nope, they swapped. All right, <laughs> taking out the Gyarados you got in a muck. Okay, so they're going to go ahead and Poison Jab us down. That's fine. Going to go ahead and bring in Needle Queen. They can't catch anymore because they locked themselves in here. Um, 
you know, when you got a Pokemon with like one HP, two HP, it's going to be perfect for caching, but it's got to be timed at the most perfect time. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to pull that off. All right, so here we go. And they're getting to a Hydro Cannon. So we still have that shield. That's fine. This is why we saved it. And then we're just going to go ahead and Poison Jab down and take the win with Needle Queen up against a Swamper Ground and Water. Next battle, what are we going to see? A Toxic Croak? This is okay. We're going to still do a lot of damage despite it being a part Poison type here. Now, we do need to look out for Sludge Bomb. Um, you know, most of the time, they're not going to bait. <laughs> they don't really have time to. So they're going to go ahead and throw that and then swap. Looks like it to that Cresselia. And technically, I want to stay here. This is a bad situation because it does have Psychic. And you're going to see how I play around that. What? Whoa, how are you going to play around this? I'll show you. You're going to have to confront it head on with one of the weaknesses. And we're going to go ahead and choose to go with Needle Queen because we're doing neutral damage as opposed to not very effective with the Machamp's counter. So obviously we have to go with this one. So we're taking a lot of damage here. But it's okay. I figured as soon as we take this thing out, we should be all good to go. We're letting this Moonblast go through and calling it. Are you kidding me? Let's get it. <laughs> and going for... The, they must have a Future Sight too, right? Otherwise, you you would always go Grass Knot. They got an Articuno back there. Now, this is where I need Rock Slide. Now, I'm feeling like crap. You know? I have... I, all right. I'm going to tell you. I didn't use Payback one time. So, technically, you want to go with Rock Slide probably, okay? You don't need Payback. There was no time where I used it and it actually worked, I think. We'll have to see. So, they're bringing in the Toxic Croak here. All right. Um, taking them out before they throw some nonsense and then we're not going to be looking good here. Getting to it. Oh, man. We got to the cross shot, but we weren't able to get it off. Folks, this is incredible. Needle Queen, one, two, three. We take the win with one HP. Are you Let's get... <laughs> All right. Next battle. And we have a charm off. Now, let's see who gets the yellow first. Looks like them. Okay. Charge move. Let's go. All right. All right. You yeah, go, ahead. go ahead and shield this up. Please do. I think a charm got through anyways. All right. So we survived with one HP there. In comes a Swamper. Takes us out. Perfect. We got all... Oh, Lapras time. All right. So we did take off the Nido Queen. Uh, it, it, it was doing good. It's just I felt like Lapras was going to help us a little bit better for what we needed covered. As well as the other Pokemon protecting it from other things that it could be potentially weak to. So it just worked out better. All in all, if you wanted to use this team, I think the Lapras Scramble Machamp is going to be the best. And again, I'm going to have to stress this. Machamp, probably you want Rock Slide. The only reason why I went with Payback one here is because I was in the Open Ultra League, the Cresselias, the, the Giratinas, and I just really never got the opportunity to do it. And technically, Rock Slide's still doing a lot. All right, so up against the Talonflame here. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and let this go through. I'm hoping we can survive. We do. Whoa, with one HP, let's go. Or two, something close like that. I'm gonna go ahead and get off the cross shot. We're getting a shield because they don't know what that we don't have rock side. Let's get it. In comes the Lapras here, and it's looking a little bit grim. I don't know if we're gonna actually. Crap! How's this actually gonna work? Uh, no shields left on my end. Can oh they sw okay that was our win con. They screwed up there. All right. Oh wait 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 wait. Never mind. I'm getting ahead of myself. Now we're gonna have a CMP. I have two surfs, but they have a charge move and they're gonna be able to get it off here. So that was a. Damn good game. Very close battle there. Even despite them throwing the, in that extra Pokemon, and we get a little bit of extra farm. Next battle, we're met with a Gramble with our Lapras. Now, I do believe we're leading Lapras for the remainder. They're going to be swapping into Sir Fetch. We're bringing in Gramble to take him out. And what was that, like three charms? So two so far. One more. Four. Okay, so it took three and... Uh, quarter <laughs> charms to take it to take them out with a shadow grapple that's incredible in comes a muck so technically this is still a good matchup for me because charm is still look at look 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 at poison jab's doing a lot but i don't care that sounds good to me so at this point we can go with the machamp i do believe right and we're gonna let this go poison jab so what are you gonna hit me with dark pulse not very effective that's fine swapping into gramble bring it in the lapras immediately we, we don't need to go for skull bash and if you're wondering skull bash or ice beam uh yeah probably skull bash i mean your ice shard as a shadow lapras is already doing so much uh so just a little i don't know whatever you want to run i personally like skull bash okay so we're going for the surf and taking out the gramble no shields on either end here in comes the muck to take us out the champ you're gonna have to do this for me buddy and we're getting to the cross chop barely on the nick of time i can guarantee you they are pretty much at a charge move and we're taking them out Ooh, that was a close battle. Good game. Let's keep it moving here. If you haven't hit that like button, please do. Into the next one. And we're met with an Empoleon. Now, my initial thought when I saw this was to top left. I, I was like, what? what? This is not, not great. 
I don't really like this. If I swap into Machamp, it's over. If I go into Gramble, it's, it's still over. So I decided to just stay here. Now watch this. <laughs> All right, it's pretty good. We got a shield out of them, right? We're looking good already. The only thing I was fearing is the fact that they were going to be able to farm me down at this point. And I go for another Skull Bash. I, look, I don't think you're supposed to do this. I was experimenting, so just, okay. All right, hear me out. Now, I swap here because I realized what I was doing, okay? Like, uh, they were going to farm me down when I had all that defense. So, I didn't want that happening. So, they we swap into Machamp. They're bringing in a Dragonite and no Rock Slide. We baited them there. Very nice. And they're letting that go. A Cross Chop still doing a ton of damage to a Shadow Dragon. Now, that's incredible. So, a Gramble is going to take them out. And they don't even get to use their energy. And at this point, they say, I'm done. We still had two shields. <laughs> Ah, uh, snap. Okay, next battle. What are we going to see? Uh, Gengar. Now, technically, out of all the Pokemon that I have, Lapras is going to have the most easygoing battle with the Gengar because we have a Charm user and then a Counter user. Both of them are going to be resisted by Gengar. So we got to win this battle or at least bring him down very low. So we're going to be getting a shield and we're using a shield as well. Now, I just had a feeling they were going to double shield this thing. And uh, sure enough, <laughs> that's uh, perfect. We're not chilling Lapras anymore. No, 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 no. See, Gramble's charm is still going to be able to take it out, and it's going to do a lot. Not only that, they're throwing all their energy, and they're shieldless. Yeah, yes, please. And we're getting rid of the biggest weakness to this team in the back. All right, so what you got for me? A charm user? Perfect. Now, you're going to see something crazy. I'm going to have to swap into Machamp, so we're going to go close combat because it's going to do more. Check it out. Take notes. <laughs> close combat, swap into Machamp, farm him down, and they bring us below half health. Wow, in a few seconds. Now, they have a Umbreon in the back. This is good. We win. Uh, we still have a Gramble, which is going to be able to do probably, I don't know, 35% of its health with the remainder of its health because of the Snarl's not very effective and the Charm's doing so much, but we're going to be able to get to this cross shop. Easy money because we have a shield and take the win. Looking good. That was a very... Um, Finesse battle, I guess you could say. Next one, we're met with a Crawdon. All right, so this is not a great matchup for me, so we're going to go ahead and just swap into Gramble. <laughs> we did so much damage. They bring in a Drapion. Huh. Very curious what you got in the back. So two Dark types so far, hitting us with a Sludge Bomb, shielding it up. Good call. Now we're going to be able to win this matchup here, unless they want to... All right, they're letting it go. Sounds good to me. Bring it in. All right, Charm. So you got a Toad Kiss in the back. Thank you for revealing that. And our Machamp's going to be able to handle the thing in the front. Alignment is perfect. We're looking good. All right. So the the next thing I could see them doing is swapping immediately after this into the Crawdon. And we're going to be able to lock this Surf in first before they're able to swap. Let's go. Never mind. Taking them out. Saving both of their shields for that. We got a counter Shadow Machamp. Crawdon Squishy. We shield up this Crab Hammer. And I think they back out here. Yep. They still have both shields. That happens when you're running this uh, Shadow Team doing stupid amounts of damage with your quick move. Really gives them no opportunity, really, sometimes. Next battle, we're met with a what? Machamp? Bad lead? Good. Going to go ahead and swap into our home Machamp here. And we're, we will shield this up because the key is we want them to swap. All right, and we want to keep this Machamp healthy. There we go. Beautiful. And they're bringing in a Talonflame. All right, so pretty much everybody's going to think you have Rock Slide. And from here on out, I will have Rock Slide, so... Yeah, don't think I won't if you run into me using I'm a champ again. Or will I? Or will I? All right, so we're going to get a shield and then getting off a cross shop. That's fine. They're throwing their energy here. This is going to take us out. And we're going to be bringing in the Lapras here, of course. That's the, that's our kind of counter to the Talonflame. I found it to be a better than the uh, Nidoqueen because of Surf. <laughs> Simple as that. Although Nidoqueen can handle Talonflame quite nicely. All right, so they're going to be bringing in Machamp. We bring in our Gramble, and they got a Numbria on the back. That's GG's. They back out. We take the win. Looking good. And the Shadow Team does it again. It's just disgusting. I know what I'm doing. I understand. <laughs> Next battle, we're met with an Obstacle and Bad Lead. We're going to go ahead and swap into Machamp. They're going to be bringing in a Talonflame. And that's as expected. Don't go for your cross drop immediately. you got to make them think you're going for a Rock Slide because it's going to one-shot the Talonflame, especially if you're Shadow. So, yeah. And we're going to let that go. And unfortunately, we don't get to the cross chop because I was an idiot. I could have got to it, but I just, I didn't. I thought, well, I'm going to farm extra for what? For what was he? What are you going to farm extra for? It's like you're going to get off another cross chop, please. <laughs> Talking to myself like uh, scolding myself. All right. So we're <laughs> getting both shields. We still have two. They're swapping back into their uh, Obstagoon, probably thinking we have no more counters for it. 
On the contrary, we got a Gramble. We're letting that go, saving the shields, because our charge moves are going to be hitting everything very hard. So we will be shielding this up, though. Uh, what we're going to do is farm this thing down. All right, just be loaded for what they have in the back. Let's see if we're going to be able to handle what's in the back, potentially. All right, with this amount of health left, they could throw in a, a, a poison quick move, poison jab, and it's over. So you got a Cresselia. All right, um, my only win con I'm thinking here is I have to catch the Lapras. But I get to a surf here. <laughs> I didn't realize I would like have this energy. Uh, I kind of forgot. And we're actually able to almost take the win with it, forcing them to throw here. And it's over. Gramble comes in, we charm him out, and we take the win. Looking good. Let's get it. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Next battle, what are we going to see? A muck. Okay. Uh, this is fine. I mean, technically, everything in the back wants to see that. I, I didn't quite catch that. Was a poison jab or snarl? Let's see what they throw at me here. At RKS Poison Jab for sure. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go for Surf. And I may swap into Machamp. I don't remember this battle. Swapping is just going to like... Technically, sometimes you're just throwing the battle a lot of times. If you swap like this in the lead. When it's kind of a neutral matchup. Because what happens is you just throw the alignment in their favor. You know, they swap into your, the counter. And then everything's just downhill from there, right? It's not all bad all the time. I'm just saying that could happen, <laughs> right? I'm not telling you to not swap in the beginning because it's definitely a strategy. So they're hitting us with an acid spray as I figured. But my gosh, it did so much damage with the poison jabs on the way down. Are you kidding me? Jeez. So we're going to go straight for the cross chop here. Is this an all dark team? Yep. This is an all dark team. Now that I remember it, um, they do have the Drapion. So if you're wondering, why would you make an all dark team? Charm's going to run over you. Yeah, it's unfortunate for them that they ran into me with this uh, team here, but... Uh, they do have the Drapion, which can deter some poisons to some degree. So there is that. But when it comes down to what I'm using in their team, it's just over. I mean, come on. <laughs> so I let that go. Our charm, I mean, it just takes them out. In comes Machamp, and we just simply shield this up. And counter down. Take the win. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on. And I'll be catching you all next time. Take care. Fantastic.